one step at a time. What's going on my dudes one step here with another Mortal Kombat 1 character theory and this one is all about Shao Kahn or General Shao as we know him now. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and let's get right into it. So we all know Ed Boon already confirmed they were doing Injustice 3 after Mortal Kombat 11 following the pattern as we all know because you get MK9 and Justice 1, MKX, and Justice 2, MK11 it made sense that the next game was going to be Injustice 3 and it was except the NRS team was like oh shit we're changing engine so if we do that it's gonna be far too long between our Mortal Kombat games and we can't have that so they hastily switched gears and started making Mortal Kombat 1 as we know it now now in doing so my theory is that they just completely used what they had already built when making Mortal Kombat 1 meaning they were kind of just building on top of Injustice 3 rather than starting from scratch and we can see examples from that with the Mortal Kombat 1 intros they are very similar if not the same as the Injustice clashes they had. They just look so similar. That, that's ex exactly the whole thing. You know, I'm gonna beat you up. No, I'm gonna beat you up. They just use the clashes as the new intros instead of the characters walking in and doing an intro. They're from Injustice. The Mortal Kombat 1's Fatal Blows now have a super animation, just like they did from Injustice, where Mortal Kombat never had the animations, the whole, whoa, now they do. Again, it's from Injustice. Personally, my theory is that Injustice 3 was gonna be a tag team game, like team up with Batman and make your cameo Superman but they just said F and, and kind of just started making Mortal Kombat 1 and in doing so I believe they used some of the character models they already had to make the newer characters like I have a theory right here that Rain was actually Aquaman and in this one I believe that Shao Kahn or General Shao was Ares but one step Ares is from Injustice 1 not Injustice 2 yeah I know but that doesn't mean that the files and the blueprints for Ares is just gone and deleted they still had it I mean look at him look at Shao Kahn right here look at General Shao, look at him, the armor, the stance, the axe, the horns. It just, first of all, the aesthetic, just the look just absolutely screams Ares. It just screams God of War to me. I mean, you could argue God of War Kratos with the axe, but still the blueprint they have Ares is where I believe General Shao came from. I mean, here on screen, you're gonna see the look of Ares from Injustice 1. And you might be thinking, yo, cause I, there's a lot of questions that were like, yo, where did the horns come from to put on General Shao? I think they were just doing it from Ares. I think they they saw that and was like, oh yeah, cool. We're given this whole move set, this whole like blueprint. We're gonna build off of this to make General Shao. Let's Let's just keep the horns and so they did the axe looks different yes but Ares also had an axe in his move set like I'm gonna be real with you if you showed me this screenshot right here General Shao and told me they were making Injustice 3 and I had to guess which character this is I would tell you oh that's definitely Ares let's just look at it so aside from the look there are a couple moves that are very reminiscent of Ares move set from Injustice 1 the General Shao now has in the first one was kind of a hitting leap into the air ground slam you're gonna see here on screen Screen right here what it looks like when Ares did it and here you're gonna see what it looks like when General Shao does it. it's not the exact same don't get me wrong I know it's different they of course made him a unique character but it is very familiar in my opinion to what Ares was doing in his moveset you see that slam right there we'll go ahead and we'll slow it down for you slow motion style okay I know Ares is more of a you know a, more of an arched leap but look at this leap in the air hit ground slam okay now you could argue that moves also from Shao Kahn's old moveset with a shoulder charge in the air and that that's probably the case too they probably drew inspiration in my opinion from both but with building off of Ares's blueprint from Injustice they had a leap move they're like how can we you know kind of form off of this and they said oh we'll just make it a hit into a ground slam on the character what a good idea right here just like uh, up in the air hit the character boom down right it's a lot faster in Mortal Kombat 1 for sure uh, but again I just think the inspiration to do that move and give it to Shao Kahn came from one Ares from Injustice and also of course Shao Kahn's previous move set with a shoulder charge in the air together make this move also not necessarily with the move set itself yet but also this whole aura this whole like black orange red aura the general shall with his character with his move set again just reminds me of the red aura that Ares had from injustice he had an aura around himself and the moves that he did and this just reminds me of that but to continue my theory of general shall being Ares from injustice so you see the axes on the ground look what Shao Kahn does here slams it against the ground so the, the axe goes in the air slams back down now Again, it's not the same exact move. However, you're gonna see here on screen, Ares from Injustice doing an ax move from the air. He's slamming the ax down and he's also bringing the ax from the ground upward. So Ares already has very similar moves to this move we're seeing right here. Again, they just, they had that move. And they're like, okay, how can we change this enough 
to make it a new move, but also we're on a budget and a time frame, so we gotta kind of just deal with what we're given here. And so they did. They put the axe on the ground and made Shao Kahn slam it down because they already had the blueprint animation from an axe going up and down. So there you go. I, I just, just to show you guys again, he slams the axe down. There you go. Good fun. Good fun move. Slams it down like that into a combo. That's what Ares would do. He would either slam it down or bring the axe back up and continue his combo. This is just screaming Ares from Injustice to me. I'm just like, ah, oh, that's just that. That's definitely Ares. I believe there are a lot of characters in Mortal Kombat 1 that were built off of blueprints from Injustice characters. Again, considering they were making Injustice 3 and they're like, oh, we, oh, we gotta change. We're making Mortal Kombat 1 now. We don't want to start from scratch because of our budget and our time frame. So let's just build off what we already have built. And so they did. I don't know guys, this is just my theory. Let me know down below. Do you think this is very accurate? Do you think it's true? Do you think General Shao was built off of Ares' moveset? Are there any other characters from Mortal Kombat 1 you think were built off of Injustice characters? Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.